Hi, this is Shreyang Siddharth from SmartHerd. Welcome to the next video of this section of functions in Kotlin. Now, in this video, we will learn about how to use functions as expressions. Now, in the previous section, we already learned how to use if as expression and also when as expression. So, you must be knowing what this expression stands for. If you have not followed my previous videos, then please check those out. Now the expression in case of Kotlin returns something. So we can make a function as a whole to return something. So let me show you inside the IntelliJ IDE what I am actually talking about. Now suppose if I define a function, let's say max, to find out the largest number of the given numbers, right? So here let us pass two parameters as a as int and again b as int, right? Now inside this, I will simply write a if condition if let's say a is greater than b then simply return a else simply return b and now here I will simply give the return type as int right. So this function simply returns the greater number of these two parameters a and b. Now from inside the main method I will simply call max let's say 4 and let's say 6. Now here I will simply assign it to var large value equal to this function, right? And now I will simply print the largest value. So this completes our code. So let us now run the code. So here we get the greater number is actually 6, right? Now the question arises, can we optimize this function? That is, can we express this function in less number of code? Now Kotlin compared to Java is actually more expressive and more concise. So here comes the role of function as expression. So we can optimize this code by simply let's say converting this function into a expression. So here what I will do I will simply give a equal to sign and then simply write a if condition let's say if a is greater than b then simply return a else return b like this and now let us remove these lines of code down the side so here i have simply optimized my code into just single statement so here this function this is the function definition which is actually acting as a expression so this expression is simply returning some value if a is greater than b then simply return a else return b so let us now run the code and let's see what happens. So in the output console, we get the greater number is 6. So this was all about the functions as expression. Now suppose you have multiple statements in case of if clause and also in case of else clause. So for that, you can also convert it into a body like this, right? Even in the else part, convert it into a body. So or you can say it is a block. So here what I will do is I will simply write some statement. I will simply put it at the bottom and now here let us write few more statements such as print a is print a is greater else print b is greater right. So here what I have is this function is again acting as an expression. Now here what I have is equal to if a is greater than b then simply print this statement and then simply return this value else simply print the statement else return this value right now whatever you write at the end of the block is actually returned and now suppose after a suppose if i write here 67 so this 67 will be returned instead of a right so always remember this and this a will now be redundant so always remember inside the code block whatever you write at the end of the block will always be returned so here let us remove it and now let us run the code. So in the output we get 6 is greater, the greater number is 6. So 6 is greater is actually being printed here and greater number is 6 is actually being printed here. Now let us try something different. As said, the statement present at the end is always returned. So let us try something different. Let's say let us use 98 here. So instead of returning B, now 98 will be returned because it is present at the bottom. And now let us append ln here and also ln here. And now let us run the code. 
So in the output, we get the greater number is 98. So this simply shows that the data which is actually present at the end is always returned, right? And now this B is actually acting as a redundant variable present here. So let us remove this 98 and then run the code and then get back the original output here. So here we go. So this was all about the functions as expressions. So you can convert any function as expression in case of Kotlin, unlike Java where you have to use the primitive way of coding. So this was all about this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.